inside of hand-drawn mazes from Instant Puzzle Generator, which will be available February 22nd, 2022. There's a link in the description. You can pick this up as of or on February 22nd, 2022. But taking a look at how simple this is, it is simply a matter of selecting a maze from one of the maze types, clicking on that maze, and then the maze is added to the page. I want to show you some of the features of this maze tool, but also elaborate on what the tool is and what the tool isn't, and how simple it is to download the tool in different formats to work with it in a book creation software that you may already be using and that gives you additional features that aren't available inside of the simple tool that actually creates the mazes. So first let's take a look at some of the maze types and you can see here there are different maze types to include these string mazes. One of the cool things about the string maze if you come up here and you select show solution you can see the way that they've identified the solution or a problem here that they had with the string maze by making the solutions from point A to point B different as you can see with a black line, a gray line, and a dotted line that is black here that shows the different paths inside of the string maze. Of course that's toggled here on the hide solution show solution and of course if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the maze book you're creating includes those same solutions in the black line, the gray line, and the dotted line. So back up to this, we've created here something interesting where we have a vampire, a skeleton, and a witch. Now in this maze, it's probably pretty simple to just sort of look at it and see that the, the witch is going down to the cauldron. But if you click on the maze, one of the features that you can get inside of this tool is to view the path. And if you click view path three as the example, which is the third path, one, two, three, you can see that it highlighted that path for you. So you can see that the witch is actually coming out at the cauldron, which solves the activity that you're creating here. Again, if you were to focus in on the vampire, click on the maze and you wanted to see path one, you could simply say path one. And then you can see that that path has been quickly identified for you and he's going to rest in peace, which is wrong. He should be going to the coffin and then now you know that the skeleton is going back to his grave or where the gravestone is and you've identified that activity with this simple feature of view path. So go ahead and deselect all. That gets rid of those paths and again you have your activity page with your maze all ready to go. Of course page three is going to be a little more complicated to show you that like I was saying in the first maze it's probably pretty easy to see. It's probably pretty simple but in this one it gets a little more complicated and here you can view the paths so if you want to see path two you simply select path two. It identifies path two is from this point to this point here at the end of the red line where it exits. It's just an easy feature. It's a handy feature inside of hand drawn mazes tool that allows you to see this at a glance simply by selecting the path. So you can create that story inside of your activity book. And of course, there are additional mazes like the maze that you see here, which is gonna be a different flavor of maze. And you can see there's tons of different mazes. And of course now that has all the solution pages as well. But what happens when you create your book? And for example, you wanted to rotate this image. Because the only thing that this has is move back, move, move to front. And the reality is, is this tool is not a full blown book maker or book editor or image editor or software that you can use. Of course, you can come up here and you can download. You can download as a PDF. You can download as PowerPoint, PNGs, and JPEG. So let's go ahead and download this as a PDF. You simply click download and it says right here, hooray, downloading your file. Do not close this window. Your download is in progress. And you can see this takes a few seconds. Then it downloads the PDF here in the left hand corner. And then at that point, we're going to pop over to Canva because a lot of people simply use Canva, the free or the pro version. Click on create a design. And at this point, simply import the file. The file is the PDF that you created and downloaded over in hand drawn mazes. It's going to import that file. And then when that file is imported, simply click the file. It opens it up. Then at that point, you've imported your file. And again, you can click on any of these images and use the editor here to rotate the images, to flip the images, anything that you need to do. For example, if the witch was supposed to be on this side and you move the vampire over there, then you think the witch is flying the wrong way. Simply click and flip her horizontally and now she's flying down to her cauldron. 
And again, you have the ability to resize the mazes and use them any way you see fit. Inside of Canva, you just imported the maze and any of the elements that you added inside of the hand-drawn mazes tool or that are available inside the hand-drawn mazes tool. And of course, if you were to flip the maze itself, flip it horizontally, don't forget if you're using the solution page, go down and flip that horizontally as well. Now it will match. And of course, if you were editing a maze like this, and let's just say that you didn't want everything in this maze because you wanted some extra room, of course, you could just come here, grab an element, drop that circle in right there, and then you could actually get creative and take out sections of the maze that you see right here or create different exit points if you wanted to just by simply selecting that maze and making it white. Now you can see that you created a new type of maze where you would now have a different path and you would come down and now you can exit here or you could continue along and you could follow the original path and exit in the center. Just something to allow you to get extra creative inside of the tool of your choice. Another option is inside of Affinity Designer. Go ahead, open up that PDF collection and go ahead, open that inside of Affinity Designer. And once you're inside of Affinity Designer, you have the same options. Of course, you're familiar with it if you're using it versus Canva, but you have the same idea here where you can move this around. You can arrange, align, transform, rotate it, flip it horizontally like we did earlier all inside of Affinity Designer with that PDF that you downloaded inside of the Hand Maze draw, Drawer tool right here, download as PDF. Of course, you could download that as a PowerPoint. And then when you download that as a PowerPoint, simply open that up on your computer if you have PowerPoint. And then just like inside of Canva or inside of Affinity Designer, you have the same options. It's just if you are more familiar with PowerPoint, then that is the tool that you can use after you've imported the maze or the elements that you get inside of the hand-drawn maze tool. So the hand-drawn maze tool will be available February 22nd, 2022. Link in the description. When you click on that link, it will take you over to this. This is my bonus page for you. If you buy hand-drawn mazes through the link, this green get it now button, click that on February 22nd, 2022. Or if you're here after that, go ahead and click the button anytime. And you can see a video here and you can scroll down and you can see all the images that I'm going to give you as a bonus to include some mazes for inspiration as well as some done for you keyword and video topic research and then see the funnel diagram below to make sure you get all the bonuses on this page. This is an explanation of how this product is going to be sold and how you are able to get all the bonuses if you purchase the basic and the pro version of hand-drawn mazes. And of course, when you scroll back up to the top, that's what this video, which is about four, almost five minutes long, four minutes, 50 seconds, will explain everything on this page and what happens when you click this green Get It Now button. Again, hand-drawn mazes, this is how it works. I'll be making a full review on February 22nd, 2022, walking through everything this does and all the sales pages so you understand exactly what you're getting for your money and how to get the bonuses and how to get started with this tool. There's a link in the description. It will take you over to this page with this video to explain in more detail, but I look forward to that full review and seeing you here on February 22nd, and I'll talk to you later.